Hi folks, last week I showed you how I made these wooden headphones. Inside them there are 10 little speakers because I want to make headphones that have real surround inside them. I'm talking about 7.1 surround. So I have the front, the lateral, the back, the center and also the subwoofer all inside these headphones. I made them because I'm a multiplayer gamer online and I'm really sure that having real surround gives me a real advantage against enemies because I can understand the position, where they're shooting from and everything. The plan for today is to make like a control box, something that converts digital audio that comes from any console, like an Xbox, a PlayStation, Nintendo Switch or a computer and convert it into analogic signal, which is the one I really need for these headphones. And let's see how I can connect these 10 jack mail plugs into the control box. So let's get started and let's see what, what I, what's in my mind. The first component I'm going to buy is this box. This is a very interesting one. We have an audio in, which comes from the HDMI cable, and an audio out that are all these RCA plugs. So the little circuit will convert digital to analogic, which is really what I need. In the front side we have the on-off switch and another switch that change from surround mode to stereo mode. I also bought 8 of these RCA plugs and 10 very little jack female plugs. This is a 3.5 mm, which is the same dimension of the jacks of the headphones. I bought some of these preamp circuit. We have an audio in and audio out. So the, the little circuit will boost up the volume and control it very clearly. I bought five of these little circuits. My plan to control the volume is to use some little preamps PCB. These are very, very cheap circuits. You find the link below if you want to buy them. And with this, I have two advantages. The first one is that I have knobs to control the volume. And the second is that I can boost up the volume so I can listen much clearer to very, very little sounds, even if the enemy is very far away or if is just walking around me, I can boost up the volume and listen much more carefully where his position is. So let's see how connect all these little preamps is a bit confusing. So I will make like a diagram where I show you how to connect all the cables. So let's take first of all the control box. We have these RCA plugs. We need to connect them to the preamp. So let's, let's see how the preamp have an audio in. We can connect two RCA jacks to the control box. From this can come a negative lead that goes to the center pin and the two positive goes to the right and to the left. So the in audio is connected. Let's see the out side. We have the same thing. We have a negative cable that goes to both female plugs and negative and positive goes on the right and on the left. So everything is is connected just repeat it five times to all five preamps this is how physically everything is connected i just soldered some cables and now i have to connect all eight rca plugs in position just take your time and make sure that everything is co connected in the right order i now draw on my 3d software i represented here the control box i'm going to make like a plate that goes on the front where i can fi fix in place all the plugs and everything so it's much more ordered i as you can see on the top part i represented 10 little holes these are the ones where i'm going to put the female jack plugs and these five here in the middle are the one where i can put the dimmer so to control the volume here i also represent the letters with that are represented rep Represent front, back, and center and subwoofer headphones. So let's move on to the CNC. So I will say the piece came out great. I, all the holes are okay. I now need to mount a little container where I can place inside all the other components. So the control box will be placed here on the bottom. I can secure it here momentarily with some hot glue. And the same thing I will do with the preamps. 
a little glue goes here and also I decide to make a little spacer with wood this is very important to keep uh, away the circuit from the metal base of the control box so I will not have short circuit so everything is in place I need now to put the jack plugs inside the holes as you can see is a very precise fit and everything is glue in place using some epoxy glue so they will not move anymore away from this hole being able to control the volume is the most important part of this project because I remember you I placed different dimension speakers inside the headphones so we have bigger one and smaller one it's clear that the bigger one will cover the sound of the others so I will need to make some little knobs to control the volume of each channel I decide to make a very simple design and let's go back right now to the CNC machine and cut them from a scrap piece of wood Now that the knobs are in place I need to power on the preamp and also the audio extractor box. To do this I only need 5 and 12 volts. It's very simple, just make sure there are no short circuits and place everything again inside the box. Make sure and double check all the connection before closing the box and now let's take two HDMI cable. One will go in the in part of the audio extractor and one to the output. This will be placed, this box will be placed between the console and the, tele the television. It's very simple and we also have video signal without problem. So let's paint everything. The box will be painted in black and the knobs will be painted in gold. Very, very sexy. So I will add little dots of paint following the same colors of the jack cables. So pink, green, blue and so on. I have Fortnite, the mixer is here and the headphones with surround 7.1 on my head. So let's jump right now. I'm going to put you right now some highlights of this gameplay and he's, I'm going to speak in Italian so I'm sorry but it's not important what I'm saying you just need to understand that I have complete control about finding the guns inside the chest and also understanding the position of all the enemies so let's see how this gameplay came out mi sto sparando pure di lato io direi di cambiare arma di metterne una seria Sapevo che eri lì. Io t'ho proprio sentito che eri lì. Rolf, calma, non ti devi far prendere dal panico. Quello lì lo tiriamo giù con l'arpione, ora guarda. Mamma mia, ragazzi! Vedete, io amo giocare, vedete, sto facendo una partita a squadre, ma in realtà gioco da solo, cioè io della mia squadra non mi interesso più di tanto, no? Proprio perché mi piace trovarmi in queste situazioni. Qua sarebbe comodo ci fosse una chest. La sento, infatti era lì, mamma mia, ste cuffie, ste cuffie ragazzi, ste cuffie, è veramente se... E mi sembra che se si stessero sparando esattamente di fronte a me. Ah, qua sarebbe stato comodo avere il fucile da cecchino, eh. Mannaggia, no? Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia, perché il, praticamente la precisione dei fucili... Questo, questo guarda come lo stecchiamo ora. Ah, ce l'ho anche dietro, ce l'ho anche dietro, ce l'ho anche dietro. Qua e qua e qua. Ma 
Mamma mia ragazzi, mamma mia, mamma mia, senza le cuffie questi mi avrebbero fatto fuori in due secondi, ve lo dico eh. Avete visto, sono stato in grado di localizzare la posizione esatta di dove mi stavano sparando, anche senza vederli. Eh. Ma non è, non è cominciato per niente male questa partita. Poi quello che mi interessa a me non è vincere, e lì c'è qualcuno. Io odio questo fucile, ho anche finito le munizioni. Io non ci posso credere che è fuori dalla safe. Mamma mia ragazzi, mamma mia, mamma mia. Riesco a localizzare perfettamente la posizione dei nemici, guarda se riesco a fargli male con... Aspetta, anche se lo prendo a distanza gli tolgo ove di 9. Cioè fa cagare sto fucile. Comunque come non stare fermo perché se quello lì c'è il cecchino mi fa fuori subito. E... Voi direte, perché Erloff non gli spari? E perché fai così? Mamma mia, ragazzi, 9. Siamo a 9, siamo a 9. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, che panico. Mamma mia, e siamo a 10. Voi direte, Erloff, ma eh, tu sei fresco fresco di sto gioco, eh. Oh ragazzi ma sta partita è infinita Abbiamo delle armi che fanno cagare Guarda guarda come si prende male questo uh, Mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia Panico eh C'è uno dietro c'è uno dietro Sto malissimo sto malissimo Dai che cavolo era dietro Vabbè ragazzi non mi interessa a me quello che interessa Play me. was so intense for me It's been such a long time I haven't played Fortnite, I just downloaded it on purpose to prove you that these headphones works great. As you saw, I had complete control about all the position of the enemies, and even if I don't see them, I feel them with my ears, so it was a great experience. I really love them, so I put you links here below if you want to buy headphones that have real surround inside them, so check them out. At this point I leave you with a complete tutorial about these headphones, so check it out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao ciao!